One of the challenges of doing a low budget period piece, you know, the movie takes place in the early 1900s. Uh, well, there are a lot of challenges, but one of the main challenges is that Walt Disney, uh, you know, was an ambulance driver in World War I. And there's a famous photo of that, uh, of Walt standing in front of it, so he knew kind of how it needed to look. Uh, but to get a Model T in working condition that could run uh, for, you know, a good price was something that we didn't know if we could do. Like I said, we couldn't just rent one because we had to repaint it, and we had to detail it and make it look authentic to not only the time period, but to this specific story of Walt Disney. Uh, so we went where I uh, went searching online and uh, went to the most reliable sources of Craigslist and uh, found there just happened to be a Model T in Craigslist right around the right year, uh, just down the road from us. Your destination is ahead on the right. It's a heck of a Model T. Looked way shinier in the picture. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, and we went down there and you know, did the deal and it was done. So we bought the Model T, we loaded it up, brought it home on the trailer, and we bought it about two months before principal filming started because we had a lot to do. One, we needed time to um, take the car to the upholstery shop here to get the canvas top put on. Yeah, we're trying to make it like an ambulance, old antique ambulance and that, you know, for the movie scene so we can turn it out real nice for them. We needed time to teach Olin, the actor, how to drive the Model T. Hey, my name's Olin Rogers. I just got cast as Walt Disney in a period piece called As Dreamers Do. And this Model T is my sweet ride. But what was interesting about our production here was that it had to be repainted, used three different ways throughout the film. So the first way it came uh, is bright red. Uh, and you'll see in the opening shot, or one of the opening shots of the movie, the big crane shot of the of, uh, of downtown Marceline in the train station. You'll see it kind of in the background. And that's the same Model T you'll see throughout the entire movie. Uh, it just was painted continually. And what's fun about that is we only shot in 15 days. I took it from the train station scene, which is one of the first scenes in the movie, to my garage that night and basically spray painted it green. And then we um, went to the World War I location the next day as an ambulance. Then it ended as the laughogram truck, so Walt's kind of a work truck or delivery van. The laughogram truck had to have the laughogram logo on the side of it. And uh, we thought, oh, we'll paint it in, something will happen. And that was a huge challenge because I thought it would be just like take it home, make the van roof of it out of wood. And um, I really wasn't worried, but that night the temperature dropped to like seven degrees. And I was just using regular rattle can spray paint that you're not supposed to use unless it's over 50 degrees. And the paint just would not stick. Really, it was an hour before we started shooting that I'm still outside in the bitter cold trying to spray paint this thing. And I uh, ordered these big laughogram logos on black that we were able to uh, essentially just peel and stick like a big fat head uh, onto the side of the cars. They looked pretty good. I think they turned out well. We, we had a blast. And actually, this 1927 automobile, and I've had all kinds of classic cars in my life, was super reliable. We only had to make one repair on the car through the whole shoot. And that was uh, the Model T's genius designer. There's these like bands, almost kind of that work like a clutch, that go around the drive shaft. And when you press the accelerator, the bands squeeze and squeeze that. And all I had to do was tighten those bands at one time so that Olin, the actor that played Walt, could go up a hill in our World War I France location. Uh, I still won't drive it. I own it. I own the. T I have the title, which is like a handwritten note, uh, and I have the insurance on it. But I am uh, horribly scared to drive it. The first thing they said, Logan, drive it, and they said, uh, Don't worry, just don't turn it like you're going to normally turn a car, or you'll flip it. Well, that's just asking for me to flip it because I'll know I'll be driving. Oh, this is great, crunk, debt. So I decided that's. Uh, that's not the best thing for me, so I, I've, I uh, left the driving to the professionals, which were uh, Olin Rogers, who drove it at least two more times than I have, and uh, you know our guys who, who are car guys, and whoever wanted to drive it, except me. Uh, they'll get me on it one day before we sell it, which by the way, if you'd like it, message us. <laughs> Maybe it's for sale.